Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. My name is Mark and this is my daughter Tiana and we are heading off to another farm. So some of you have asked about, well, can you go to other farms? Well, sure, let's do that right now. Uh, so we are going to a farm called Sweet Ridge Farm and we're going to pick up this mystery animal that uh, I talked about in the last video. So let's get going. So I was here a few years ago, it was about pigs. So there was a video I did about pigs large and small and I came out here because they have some big Berkshire pigs. And it sounds like they have some geese. <laughs> yeah, so there's some, some uh, I think those are Toulouse geese, if that's how you say it. It's always different ways to say different. Uh, and it looks like there is uh, those turkeys there, it looks yeah, like. Turkeys. Yeah, some turkeys there. And we have, oh, there's a, they, yeah, they've done some additions since we've been here. It looks like there's a, maybe a hen house over there? <laughs> With a big hen <laughs> trying to get in. <laughs> and here are the goats. Oh, look, there's a little one there. <laughs> so they are, uh, I believe me, uh, believe me, I believe me, I believe they are pygmy cross goats. Uh, you can see that one there in the back, so long hair. Uh, but they're about the same size as our pygmies. And then a couple uh, peafowl over there. All right. Yeah, we're going to go inside. So Tiana said she heard her, instead of just wandering around out here waiting. <laughs> Let's go on in and see what they have inside. There's some guinea fowl, the guinea patrol. So they're out. We've got to get our guineas out soon too. Get them working, get them eating those wood ticks, the frozen wood ticks, the, the pups of ticks. <laughs> what do you call, what do you call frozen wood ticks? And these are the pig pens over here. Hello, hello. Hi. We're just out hi. wandering around. <laughs> so, hi, who are you? We were having fun. <laughs> so this is Lisa, and this is your niece. This is Peyton. Peyton. Yeah. Yeah, your niece, right? Yes. yes. Okay. I just want to make sure I got that right. <laughs> yes. You've got a couple dogs, don't you? He's a big one. And there's the big pigs. And these are Berkshires, right? Hi. Yeah. Hi. Oh boy. So there's baby pigs? Where are they? Are they in a warm area? Oh, they're in. Oh, they're in the. Um... Oh, there we go. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> Mom is getting a little. Oh, look, there's the little piggies. Yeah. So this board is put up. We've done uh, something. We might have even gotten the idea from Linda, which uh, it's just to give the little ones a way to get away to uh, sleep and eat and get under that heat lamp. Uh, because mamas can, because they're so big, uh, they can uh, crush and roll on top of the little piglets. Yeah. Three weeks old. So here's some more pigs. Three weeks old and how old are the other ones? Older. Three weeks older than the other. Oh, these ones are three weeks older. So how old are they? They're a month and those are a week. Yeah. 
Okay, so these are a month old and the other ones are a week old. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> They're so cute. Baby animals are so cute. So they have free range to go outside. Yeah, they uh, they grow up so fast, don't they? Hi, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Yes, oh, <laughs> startled, a little startled. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got lots of pens. We got, I saw some Muscovies. Here's some Muscovies out here. And then we've got some chickens. Another little chicken run. And some other pigs, some bigger pigs. This looks like a daddy pig right here. <laughs> yeah, hi. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, the dog playing with the pigs, that's funny. <laughs> Do they not want to play with you? <laughs> uh, probably, be a, probably be a different story if he was in the pen with them. <laughs> oh, watch your head. I was holding my tripod and he jumped up and hit his head, although it didn't seem to phase him. <laughs> it just doesn't want to give up. <laughs> So we're just leaving and we're looking at this cat here. So Linda has put some eggs. <laughs> some put some eggs in this little container and the cat is actually licking. <laughs> licking. What are you doing? Are those are those tasty eggs? If she only knew what was inside the eggs, they might not be intact for too long. <laughs> So this is the mystery animal, not the geese, but the turkeys or the hens. So we are picking up the, the two and then one more, a third one of these female hens. So we'll see um, how Fernando, what Fernando thinks when we, uh, when we bring them. What's that? Oh. Well, I get yelled at all the time, so I'm kind of used to it. Are you, are you protecting your turkeys? Are you? <laughs> I got a leg. I got a leg. I got a leg. I got a body. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I missed that sign. Caution area patrolled by attack turkey. That's what we need, right there. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to do one. We've got a new engraver that we got, a wood engraver. Maybe we'll have to do something like that. What's this one? Well, it's a wild turkey, it says. The, uh, the security turkey. The patrol. Okay, so is this turkey laying eggs? Can't see her. Can you see her? No? <laughs> yeah. Mid mid egg drop. <laughs> what? Ah. Yeah, calm down. <laughs> Peyton, just leave the eggs. <laughs> okay, bye, Mama. Bye, piglets. Yeah, I'm just saying goodbye. 
<laughs> you want to say bye? <laughs> oh, there. Oh, there's the door. So Quill got put in because he was being too rambunctious, and look oh, what no, he is doing. <laughs> he is. The other girls are older, and they don't know how. But uh, but he likes to get. Oh, there he is in the window. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> Oh, and there he is. He's out. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> the ghost's come out. <laughs> no, no. She has to wait for the next round. You're going to help her? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> so we're all loaded up. Heading back to the farm, we got the girls in the back here. So we got two kennels. We got two of them in one, and one of them in the other. So we were gonna get a bigger kennel and put it in the back of the truck, but it's almost safer when transporting animals like chickens and turkeys. Uh, if you can put them in and cram them into a not cram them so much, but put them in comfortably so that they don't have a lot of room so that in transport they're not moving around so much. Uh, so they're nice and comfy and they uh, actually fit pretty good in there. Here, wait, Morris. Okay, where is Fernando? He's in the cage ready. Oh, he's in there? He's in there. So we're going to put him back in here. I'm Show All right. Go on in. <laughs> Tara's out here rearranging everything. I'm working off the back pain. All right. Ready. Hey, mamas. Soon to be mamas. Oh, Fernando. <laughs> And the babies. And the babies. Oop. Oop. <laughs> They're still working on their balance. But they're your tail cut in there. Look at starting the to get playful. Oh, the fan. Oh, it's <laughs> it's a little bird. Yeah, don't tail get your caught. tail caught in there. All right, let's go get the girls. No. Oop, 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 oop. Wing. Yeah. Wing. <laughs> oh, you're gonna go in soon. Give me your feet. <laughs> Walk out a foot. Well, I'll just take one, Tiana. I know. Yeah. I'm just, I want her to relax. Okay. <laughs> she's flared. <laughs> yeah, she's flared out. <laughs> oh, Fernando! We have to name them. Look, Fernando! Good luck telling them apart. <laughs> I have a hard enough time with names. <laughs> Fifi, Fiona, and Fabby. Fifi, Fiona, and Fabby. I got her feet. What's he gonna do? Those are those are turkeys, Fernando. Oh, Sonny, the last girl. Yeah, he's gonna be puffed up forever now. <laughs> you wanna go get the other one? Pouncing and pouncing. No, even the even the goats are yeah. curious. Fernando. Fifi, Fiona, and Fabi after Fabiola. Okay, so which one's which? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Still the camera? Yeah, no, Fernando. Fernando, you got girls now. Look, behind you. God, you Fernando. Goof. Oh, well, that's why we're locking them in here with the girls. <laughs> He'll be like, ah, there's no people around, I guess. I guess I got to pay attention to my own kind. <laughs> Apparently, the Tom Turkey that they had, uh, he did the same thing. He didn't pay attention to the girls. So they had about 30 eggs and they incubated them oh. and only like five hatched. So, what is it with turkeys? You guys are a dying race if this is the way it's going to go. <laughs> You've become too domesticated. <laughs> Lucy, you want to go outside? Here, look. You want to go outside? Turbo. Hey, sheeps. Sheeps, get in. Come on, Lucy. Come on, Lucy. Lucy doesn't want to go out. Come on, Lucy. Oh. Tinker. Go see your kids. <laughs> see, Lucy's still here. Your mom's still here. That's Lucy. I don't think she wants to go out. <laughs> She's like, ah, oh, I got this good thing going on yeah. in here. <laughs> oh, hi Hannibal! Oh yeah. <laughs> Silly. Oh hi! Hi Petey, or Piper, sorry. Get your names right. You guys say I know all these names. Well, I do know them, but sometimes I get them all mixed up. And how's everybody doing out here? You guys are doing good? Ma. Ma. And what does it look like out here? Well, no sign of the pond quite yet. Still covered in snow. But that doesn't uh, stop the geese from wandering around and going into the trench that's filling up. So we have a trench that runs. It overflows the property or the pond here and then flows down a trench all the way to the front of the property. So that's our drainage system. So last year when we had the pond installed, uh, he also dug out this section here that's slightly graded. Uh, but of course, you know, we're still going to have some muddy areas at least until things grass up and we can get some. Uh, uh, some roots growing in there to, to secure that and harden it up. Hey boys, spring has sprung. You're back up in the in the open areas. <laughs> now we do have this here that tells if the line is live. Now what it is is it has a little switch on it. It's off right now. So if we turn that on. Uh, it just hangs on here and connects and it'll flash when the line's down. So it's not flashing right now. If we take it off just to make sure it works, takes a couple seconds and the battery could be dead. Okay, so <laughs> it's, I'll have to open that up and check the battery on it. But yeah, it should be flashing. And that just gives us an early warning as to the line being down. But they, they respect this area of the fence because it's been up for so long. So it never fails. You uh, take something that doesn't work inside and then you go to test it and it actually works. So you can see it's actually flashing now. And uh, we're going to test this out. Now this fence, we had some problems with grounding because of the, uh, of the winter, so it's flashing. Oh, it stopped flashing. I think I hit the switch on the back. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, so it's flashing and I'm gonna clip it on. And now it's stopped flashing. So this is made by uh, Patriot. So it's a fence alert. You can buy a bunch of different ones. It has uh, a metal clamp on it that just kind of clamps into the line. And now it's not flashing again, okay. So good. So this is pointed at the house so we can see in the evening if there is a concern. But generally, as I mentioned, they respect the fence. 
once they get zapped once, maybe twice, <laughs> then, uh, then they know what it's all about. And a lot of the times you don't even need the fence on. So even during the winter when it doesn't shock too well because the ground's frozen, they will, if they've been living in that area, they will be fine with it. But since we moved them back into that area and they had a new fence section to test, they definitely tested it. So that's something that we have to um, take a look at and fix up is that section of fence that is, uh, well, needs a little bit of work. <laughs> So I'm back in the house and we will check on Fernando and his girls in a little bit, but as I'm walking through, I see Nix in one of her favorite places. Hi! Hi girl! Do you like it up there? And why do you like it? Well, you can probably hear why she likes it. If you remember back from a few videos, we had a chick which we called Gimpy. Now Gimpy had a problem, as does this one. This one came from a school where uh, a teacher and students hatched out a chick. And, well, this chick here has both legs that are kind of, um, well, they're, they're not working so well. They're kind of flipped around. But we take special care of these little ones. She has a little stuffed animal in here and some, and some toys and stuff around. Um, and, um, well, she makes do. Now, the teacher, when she contacted us, she said, well, should she take the little chicken to the vet? And, well, there's nothing the vet can do. The vet will just obviously say to put the chicken down. Uh, so we decided, well, we're going to take care of her in here. And uh, Nix seems to really love it. And so does the dogs. Right, Maggie? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so this is Henrietta. So we'll find out uh, what happens with her. Maybe she'll go out in the smaller uh, hatchery pen uh, earlier or uh, in a little bit, in a, in a couple weeks when it warms up outside. And we'll go from there, right? But a little bit of entertainment for our inside animals. <laughs> So as you may know, if you've been watching for a while, uh, I like my cameras, <laughs> uh, especially with doing YouTube videos. It's really nice to be able to have footages, footages, footage <laughs> of things that I wouldn't normally catch. So what I have here that I just installed is this little guy here. And this is called a, it's an Argus 2 by Real Link. So I've set it up to kind of view out. It's got a pretty wide angle and it's viewing the pond area. So we're going to watch that. We quite often get geese, Canadian geese that uh, fly in and land on the pond. And just to kind of look and see how things are going. Um, that tree in between the house and us uh, kind of blocks the pond. Uh, so it's nice to have that view. Now what it's plugged into is a solar panel. So there's a wire that goes around the back of it and plugs into the back of the camera. Uh, so that's pretty handy. Apparently this, uh, it, well, it's, it's completely wireless. So it charges itself and apparently it has a standby of something like 160 days or something like that, but it runs on motion. So whenever it sees motion, it starts recording. Uh, so that's kind of neat. So I thought I'd try that out. And one limitation that I've always had with the other cameras, <laughs> hi, hi Willow, <laughs> is they have to be wired up. So I've recently hooked up network cable into here and finally I have a good quality signal coming out of there. But what if I have predators coming in way back in the field? So I, th I, I think it should work the same. I may not be able to have a Wi-Fi signal, but whenever it detects motion in an area, it'll record, and then I can always go back and check the footage on the camera. So if I have maybe the wires down back there or something, um, I can use it kind of as a trail cam, uh, a really wide angle, night vision, uh, 1080p quality uh, trail cam. So that's kind of neat. So I'm gonna try that out and I'll be able to move it around different areas during the summer and try out different uh, areas that I wouldn't normally be able to try. Uh, this is the upper pond that hasn't, uh, well, it's melting, 
this uh, the stream that goes into the larger pond is all melted here. So we're just kind of waiting for that to melt down. Now, when I was out here earlier, I had noticed, um, I was talking to Marley, because I, yes, I do talk to my animals. And this is Marley here. Now, Marley had an eye infection, and it was kind of a reversed, Marley, <laughs> he's not gonna be, uh, not gonna be very, uh, hi, Barry. <laughs> Marley, Marley. Here, let's see if I can, I can, uh, get his attention by this. So if you look at his eyes, they are clear. There's no gumminess in his eyes. Hey? So he had um, an infection around his eyes. So we've got this new type of uh, antibacteria, like an eye drop, and he's cleared up completely. So that's excellent. We're gonna sneak up on Fernando. Fernando, how are you doing with the girls? Am I going to have to put a camera out on you guys to see what's going on? <laughs> well, we'll leave him in here for, I don't know, a week or so. We'll see what happens. Uh, and then probably let them out. He just needs a little, a little girl time, right? He's gonna be worn out after after a 24-hour period of this. We had a wedding last year, and he did this throughout the entire wedding, all night, and he was beat by the end of the night. <laughs> Looks like the kids the kids are sleeping. A little goat pile. So they seem to be up, down, feeding, so we've been watching them. There was a little concern about the little black one. Um, now they were, actually, especially the little black one, was kind of sleeping on the other side of the pen, but uh, they've all learned that body heat really works to their advantage. So they're doing great. We're just waiting for the other ones. Some more playmates for these kids. I believe I mentioned earlier that we were going to candle the eggs in the incubator, uh, but with everything going on this weekend, I want to get this video out and posted. So I may do a midweek video, uh, including that, and then who knows what happens with the other girls. So the incubator has been uh, running now for seven days. Uh, egg turning times, I guess it's flipped, so it must have gone over 999, I believe, unless, oh, we had a power failure last night. That's what it was. It was a short power failure. So this obviously reset. Uh, so we're sitting here at 50% humidity, so that's good. It retained all of the settings. Now the turn, the light. So Tara did put in the little eggs, the quail eggs in there. Uh, and she put them in so that they match up with the hatching day because they have uh, a lower hatching time than the chicken eggs do. So we'll touch base on that a little bit later in the week in the next video. Uh, temperature in here is holding steady at uh, 11 degrees Celsius, about 50, 51 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and all is good with that. We have lots of water in here. So we're good on that. So we're gonna just go in the barn and show you what we've been working on. If you've been watching the live stream, you would have probably heard all kinds of, all kinds of action happening. And look at how open it is. So we took down all the shelving that was here. I moved the camera uh, that was over in that corner, moved it out here so we get a better view of the girls in here. Uh, then we have to figure out somewhere to put these bins. Those are our feed bins. We were looking at getting a feed silo of some kind, but they're so expensive. So we're going to look at other things. Uh, patches, snow. 
How you girls doing? Everybody's waiting for you. <laughs> now there has been some concern about the little ones. Uh, we were just actually watching it on the live feed. Uh, the little one there on, looks like on the right, um, so Coco had pushed her away when they were feeding. Now, she has three kids. She only is able to feed two at one time. So she will push them away and make sure that they all feed. So we're just going to keep a close eye on her uh, and her little one just to make sure that that one feeds. Uh, so we mentioned that in the last video that we want to keep an eye on those kids and uh, just make sure that they're all eating. And then, of course, uh, Petunia, Auntie, she's getting climbed on regularly by uh, especially the larger one. And, of course, Fernando with his girls. So there has been some action we've noticed in there. As long as humans stay away, he'll pay attention to his girls. <laughs> uh, so that's it. That's it for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. And as I mentioned, I will uh, we'll do an update on these guys probably sometime midweek, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, and then do that candling. The candling doesn't need to be done right away because it just shows if the eggs are viable or not. If they're not viable, they can just remain in the incubator for a few extra days. Uh, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the uh, real length Angus, Ag Agnes, Argus 2 camera that I showed earlier. I'll put a link down in the description of that if you're interested in that camera. Uh, and uh, till next video, uh, take care and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.